Chris Hall, South Dakota Game Fish and Parks. Believe it or not, winter's a big reason why many of us live in this state. Ice fishing, hunting, hiking, snowshoeing, snowmobiling are all great ways to get outside and make memories. We want you to use caution when venturing out on South Dakota's lakes this winter. Standard ice safety guidelines are for new, clear ice. We would suggest doubling these numbers when dealing with late season ice or ice that has gone through multiple freeze and thaw cycles. Remember, no ice is ever 100% safe. Try and go out with a group of people and always let people know where you're going. Whenever heading out onto the ice, safety equipment such as ice picks and a length of rope should be on your body, either in an accessible pocket or around your neck. New thermal bibs and coats also have flotation properties and can be very helpful too. Let's go through a scenario when you are on the ice alone and you fall through. If you fall through, and we know this sounds crazy, but it's important, don't panic. Calm yourself. The initial shock of being in the cold water will only last a minute, but it is important that you get your wits about you. Hypothermia isn't the issue now. You have 15 minutes or more before those effects will start. Your biggest worry is drowning at this point. Turn yourself so you're facing the direction you came from. You know that that ice can hold your body. Don't try and shed any clothing. It can trap air and give you warmth and flotation. Spread your arms on the unbroken ice. If you have ice picks, nails, or screwdrivers in your pocket, get them out. They will provide the grip you need to assist in pulling yourself to safety. If your clothes have trapped a lot of water, you may have to get up on your elbows on the edge of the ice to drain some water from your coat. Kick your feet as if you are swimming. This will bring your body to more of a horizontal position and make it easier to drag yourself out of the ice. As you are kicking, use your arms to propel yourself away from any open water. Once you're out, lie flat on the ice and roll away from the hole. This helps disperse your weight. Once you're back on strong ice, get yourself to a warm, dry area and get warm as soon as possible. If you're out with another person or group and someone falls through, avoid the temptation to get close to the person in the water. Use a length of rope, multiple belts, or even a long tree branch to assist your friend in the water. Getting close to the person in the water will only lead to multiple people ending up in the water. We hope this video gives you the confidence to get outside, get out on the ice, snowmobile, snowshoe, fish, hike, and make a lot of memories and have a lot of fun. Stay safe out there, get outdoors, and make some memories.